sometimes we think that we're not in charge. You are always in charge. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So today is May 31st, day 152, 214 days left in 2024, and we are 41.53% done with this year. So we are just rolling down the year. Isn't it crazy? Tomorrow is June 1st. <laughs> That's how time goes, right? Time on planet Earth. Because what if there really was no such thing as time? Okay, so here is your passage for today. On one hand, I have humility. On the other hand, I have strength and confidence. On one hand, I pray that my life will work out right. On the other hand, I know it's up to me. Let's turn that around and read it. On one hand, you have humility. On the other hand, you have strength and confidence. On one hand, you pray that your life will work out right. On the other hand, you know it's up to you. That is very amazing, beautimous, fantabulous going into the weekend. So there's faith and there's knowing. There's faith and there's knowing. So let's read about, let's read the, um, this is an, uh, the author's notes and finding your purpose changes everything. And I've read this to you um, back when, but I'm going to read it to you again because you are the person who takes the action and you can change things. You can change, you can change, uh, you might think that you have some programs where you feel weaker than others or not up to someone's standards or, or you feel that you are lesser somehow than others or that you are, uh, the dogs are going after the, the cat. I don't know if you can see. Hey, the hello Charlie. Here comes Charlie. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see that or not, but Charlie stood up for himself. So all of this about um, you being able to take care of yourself and know that you can change and you can become absolutely anything that you want to become. It's not so difficult when you understand that your programs, your mental programs, and especially the 90% in your subconscious mind that you don't even know are running, that are negative, they're running the show when you're not being mindful. And so when you become mindful and you become aware and you're paying attention to being aware, paying attention to paying attention, everything shifts and you start to understand the absolute control that you do have over your life. Because a lot of times we think that we don't have control and that we are unable to change things. It just feels so futile, futile, futile. Like it just can't happen for us. We feel so stuck somewhere. And I'm telling you right now that that is absolutely never ever the case because there's always something you can do to change where you're at. My notes fell. To change where you're at, change who you are becoming, and to do something, even if it's something that is seems so difficult, like um, the war, you know, different wars or, or economy or things that seem so big, because we can always, we can always pray. We can always send good, positive energy. There's just so much that we can do. Does not mean we have to get engaged or become activists in that, it, unless that is something that we feel called to do. Yet it's, it's, the, it's the raising the frequency, your frequency and the frequency of the planet that makes the most humongous difference of all. And you are able to change and change the way you are feeling, thinking, because you are in charge of you and you can change all of that. So I'm gonna read this, Finding Your Purpose Changes Everything because this is all about your purpose. And I didn't even introduce myself if you are new. My name is Lenny Wannerstrom, and I read a passage from Dr. Shad Helmstetter's book, 365 Days of Positive Self-Talk for Finding Your Purpose. I read that every single day. I read one to you, and every once in a while, I read one of his notes. 
so an author's notes or a self-talk tip that he um, has in the book because it's pertinent and may help you in trying to find your purpose so and finding your inner strength so remember that you are in charge of you and you have the ability to change anything to be anything to become anything that you want to change or become so let's read about you finding your purpose changes everything if life were about getting by then having a purpose would not be essential you could just get by but it's clear that life and our reason for living it goes far beyond just getting through it imagine two people who are equal in almost every way one of them has no real direction in life he isn't aimless but he isn't a big goal setter either he gets by he does okay has a decent life doesn't cause problems and lives an average existence he doesn't spend a lot of time thinking about his purpose or what he could have done with his life but he gets through it and one day he dies the other person is markedly different in that he has a clear picture of his purpose instead of just going along with the crowd or settling for average he knows what he's here for he sets goals and works at reaching them he is excited about the future and he has a reason to be positive he lives life by choice and not by chance instead of being a victim he directs his own life and at every turn he is guided by his purpose instead of just getting through life he excels at living it and he does so every day he is here the difference in the lives of these two people who once were equal began to take place the moment one of them made the choice to find his purpose and follow it so i read that to you because you are in charge of your life you are able to do absolutely anything that you want to do you are not a victim of circumstances or anything you're not a victim period and that victim mentality sometimes has us thinking like i'm never a victim i would never say that i'm a victim you're looking at moi that um, was always like i'm not a victim <laughs> playing the victim role very very well in the drama triangle on many occasions I really try, try and stay out of that drama triangle. <laughs> anyway, that it, it, when you actually recognize that you are coming from a, a victim mentality, when you think someone else is at fault or that you can't reach higher because someone has stopped you or because of your, your circumstances in life, where you came from, um, it could be uh, just a culture, or a community or a family and it could be it could actually be anything but it's limiting you and I'm just going to tell you right now you are limitless you are unlimited and it is only your mind and the prison the self-imposed chains that you wrap around yourself or in your head that is that is stopping you that is holding you back and usually those are programs those are programs that are stopping you I say usually because uh, we there are 70 over 77 percent of the programs that you have in your in your in your head that are running are negative and 90 percent of those in your subconscious mind you have absolutely no idea what they are and when you're not mindful they're just running the show it's like getting in the car and driving do you remember turning the key or now pushing the button or do, do you remember when you Go when you're in a big hurry and you got to get somewhere and, and you go and you arrive. Did you remember starting the car, pushing the gas, stepping on the brake? Did you remember thinking, how do I drive? I, I, I don't know how to drive. I better, I, I, have, I better be very aware of how I'm driving, like how I, I'm starting the car and I'm driving and I'm looking both ways before I cross the street and all those things. So, oops, oops, there we almost went with the wind here. We're good we're good we're saved so what i'm telling you is this this is the automatic you are, it just automatically happens so i want to bring that to your attention because the more that we are aware of of who we really are who and what we really are and the more we understand our unlimitedness and our ability to to be the power behind the essence that is this what we see in the mirror the more we can change and become whatever it is we want the more we shed that 
um, I can't do this because of that. And the more that we look at the ability to change our programs, and that is the, the I always have in the description, the Self Talk app, which you can get for 30 days free. That is That is very, very, I don't know of any other tool that can help you more quickly than that. I know you can do meditations. I know you can do, you can spend a lot of time working on your programs, working on that mental state, working on the spiritual state, working on a lot of time. And you don't have to. You can do 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes at night, and and really get to where you want to go. And and then I'm going to tell you that if you really want to up level your game, level up, level up your human experience, then I, you would probably choose to work with me. <laughs> and I say that because when we work together, I help you to change those mental programs. I guide you in which, which programs to work with based on what you share with me. And together, we move together to change the mental programs that are holding you back, that have held you back in the past. And then we stay on it together. And then we also look at concepts that will, that people that are successful, they may not even be able to say, yeah, I think out of the box. And, and that's how I achieve what I achieve. And I'm successful because I know what a choice is and I am very conscious about the choices I make every day. They probably, uh, many people, successful people, wouldn't probably be able to just say that or maybe they would, but they probably wouldn't look at it as these concepts that change the traje trajectory of their lives. Yet these concepts are life-changing, each and every one of them that I share with you. So this is very, very powerful and I encourage you to email me with the to Lenny at LennyMotivates.com with the subject in the subject line, winner. Winner, because you are. And when you are listening to the self-talk and changing those mental programs, and then you have me come in and help you to be very consistent and, and achieve your goals, the things that you say that you want mostly in your life. And if you really want to have success in every single area of your life, you look at these, these concepts, that these key concepts that will help you to excel in everything you do. So I love you very, very mucho. And I'm gonna read this passage one last time for you for May 31st. On one hand, I have humility. On the other, I have strength and confidence. On one hand, I pray that my life will work out right. On the other hand, I know it's up to me. And it is up to you. So, I believe in you. You can do this. You can find your purpose. You can engage in your purpose. You can activate it if it's not yet activated. There is nothing that you cannot do. Absolutely nothing. You, The sky is the limit. You can do anything. Let's put it that way. You can do absolutely anything that you focus on and put the energy into it and that you believe you can do. It is all about self-belief, belief in self, and self-esteem. What is the estimation of you? How do you estimate you as a person, as a spiritual being? What would you, when you look in the mirror, are you just like, yeah, I'm awesome and amazing? Or do you go like, mm, I don't wanna look at that. I know both of those because now I'm on the awesome and amazing side. <laughs> but before I was like, I couldn't even look in the mirror. So you are awesome and amazing. You are a winner and you can do, be, and change absolutely anything about you. No circumstance, no situation, no anything can stop you if you believe in yourself. You can. You are very, very powerful. You can do anything. Love you so very, very much. Oh, is always shining my light to brighten yours. See you tomorrow. Happy weekend. Ciao.